Okay, so I thought I'd throw together a quick and dirty video. Um, really, this is just about HDMI. Um, I recently bought a new TV. I uh, bought a LG B6 4K telly and I ran into some issues with uh, HDMI 2.0 and HDCP 2.2, which I didn't expect to actually run into because I've been using an old Pioneer Kuro for a long time. Uh, basically, the issues I've had is that every time I play 4K on the uh, TV, I can't get any HD audio to my older AV processor, which is kind of a big issue because you pay a lot of money for an AV processor. You kind of expect it to work when you play a movie on it. You want to get Dolby True HD or you want to get uh, DTS HD Master Audio. Um, you really The last thing you expect to have to do is go from, say, an NVIDIA Shield to the TV and then have to run audio return channel to an AV processor because doing that means that you sacrifice your HD lossless audio and only end up with Dolby Digital or DTS because ARC doesn't support it. So the other option is buy a new AV processor which I spent an absolute fortune on my processor to start with and I'm not about to go out and buy a brand new AV processor. So what was the solution? Well. In the end, I explored quite a few avenues and found I couldn't just split the signal in an, in the usual fashion because it wouldn't even my processor wouldn't even latch onto the signal at all because it's uh, HDMI 1.4, um, and obviously going into the AV processor straight away from the Nvidia Shield would mean that the signal would be degraded to HDMI 1.4, and all I'd get back out of the processor would be 1080p, um, probably. 60 hertz or 50 hertz or whatever it is um, which isn't good enough when you've spent £3,000 on a new LG 4K OLED you don't want to degrade the incoming signal down to 1080p so I had two options uh, watch in 4K and have basically a 2002 AV processor which made no sense to me because um, who wants to go back to Dolby Digital or DTS when you've got a soundtrack on the on the source that gives you lossless audio. So the other option is to go through the processor and lose the and lose the picture. I managed to find a solution, which is um, from a company called CYP. Uh, they're in the UK and they basically build a box that offers uh, no compromise in my situation because it gives me um, a 4K pass through. So I can go from my NVIDIA Shield directly to the CYP switching box. I get a 4K stream straight off to the TV and a downgraded rescaled uh, HDMI on a second cable that goes to the AV processor and works absolutely perfect. So what it does is it streams my 4K to my telly and sends a second signal to my AV processor. So I'm going to show you that box now. So this is the box. This is basically from CYP. We're looking at the bottom one. This is just a switching box I have that controls the inputs so I can put more than one thing through it. It was only a cheap switching box. Uh, basically this box will do full 4K um, all the way up to 60 Hertz. Uh, supports the usual 1080p as well and all the usual formats below that. Uh, I found no, nothing it won't do to be honest with you. It will do absolutely everything that my LG 4K OLED will support. Uh, around the back, just to show you how it works around the back, you have, let me just move this one out of the way and I'll shift this around a bit. You have a power input, you have a couple of audio outputs which I don't use, a service port for your updating the update you needed if, need, if needed. Uh, you have Input and two outputs. So you've got two HDMI outputs. One goes off to the AV processor and one goes up to the TV. So this is your pass through in 4K. This will take your HD audio and send it directly to your older AV processor in HDMI 1.4. This supports all the way up to HDMI 2.0a. So everything all the way through HDR and etc. all works fine. Um, just to show you how it will operate. So I'll, uh, I'll power this up now on the TV. I'll just uh, show you. Basic Dolby Digital. So this is what you'd get stuck with if you only used ARC. Now this is going through the box and what it will do is it will strip it out and it will show me that it's in 1080p standard Dolby Digital. To show you that that's working fine, there's your uh, resolution and it now supports basic Dolby Digital. So that's being decoded properly. So we'll pull this now because we know it's working and I'm going to try a HD audio track. So let's try one of the others. Um, let's try True HD. Now this won't work through standard ARC, 
Um, but as you'll see here, True HD signal. The AV processor now supports True HD through the second signal. These are just demo discs. Uh, let's try another one. Let's try DTS HD Master Audio. There we go. So. DTS HD Master Audio. Resolution. This is high resolution audio. DTS HD IRS. So these all basically work using the little CYP box, which, as I say, I've been very, very impressed with. Um, I'll just show you the, the PlayStation. Okay, so just to show you what we've got here, this is the PlayStation 4 Pro. If I switch to sound and screen, Video output, everything's on automatic, and then video output information. You'll see everything's supported 2K, 4K, RGB, HDCP, HDR on your TV. Let's try HDR just to see if it works. So we got Resident Evil, that one's HDR. If I click that, you will see. Oh no, it's doing a proxy update. Let's just get past the update. Let's try the. You'll see up here in the corner. It'll read the metadata and it should flag up with HDR. So, just to show HDR supported, let's give it a second. Here we go. So, let's see if it flags it. HDR, there we go. So, the HDR flag has been read, which means that the uh, everything's running at full HD. Oh, there we go. Just to show everything works. Thank you.